In a rural area like this, more than 90% of babies are born at home without any qualified medical help. Morgina is having her baby at home. She'll be supported by a traditional birth attendant known as a Dai, but she has no medical training. <laughs> it's her second birth, and the baby arrives quickly. <laughs> It's a girl, Shimona. The methods used by the Dai, Mosamat Shabura, are based on tradition and hearsay. They have hardly changed across the generations. With her bare hands, she smears mucus from the umbilical cord onto the baby's gums. She believes this will protect the baby against infection. <laughs> she also believes that stretching the limbs will make the child grow tall and strong. <laughs> Shimona is taken outside for a wash. <laughs> She's doused in mustard oil. It's traditionally believed that this cleans the skin and protects babies against the cold. It's over half an hour since the birth. And Morgina still hasn't held her baby. The World Health Organization recommends breastfeeding should start within an hour. But Mosamat settles down to give the baby honey instead. <laughs> the dye goes on to feed the baby cow's milk. Shimona is finding it hard to swallow. Cow's milk is much less suitable for babies and much harder to digest than breast milk, but at least it may help prevent dehydration.